everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Rejuvenation. We're Love Lies Edition this time. I also hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and safe. This is a short, short spin-off game created by Jan, which tells the story of Kita or Kenneth as we're going to be getting to know him. Also, for those who follow the rejuvenation walkthrough, I know I have yet to update timestamps on the last five or so videos, and I still have quite a bit of work to do on that game. I want to release a video for all the Zygarde cells sometime soon. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it will happen. I assure you it will happen, so thanks for sticking with me. Anyways, in the meantime, we're going to be focusing on where love lies. In this walkthrough, we'll be covering all the collectible Pokemon, some of the bigger battles, as well as the locations of some of the important hidden items. We'll also be going through the story since this is a story-based game after all, and it'd be kind of weird if we didn't, right? I'll do my absolute best to also show off the regular ending and the true ending. So let's get into it. Also, you might notice here at this screen, I have deleted my old save file, or rather changed the name of it. That way, I don't have to spoil anything to you. Over here on the options screen, we don't have a lot of options here. Also, the music sometimes glitches out. Anyways, I'm going to be turning autosave off and the tech speed to max. We have no options for remapping our controls, which is kind of unfortunate. Also, if you're wondering, the controls are C for the A button or for the confirm button, X for the menu or the decline button, Alt for speed up, D for the quick save, and S for the auto run. Chapter 1 My Departure. going to miss you. Yeah, it'll be a lot less fun on the island without you, bro. Who will I get into trouble with when Nana finds out I've been messing around again? Oh, please, Claus. Don't act like Kenneth leaving is going to stop you from doing all that stuff anyway. Isn't that right, Kenneth? Well... Not entirely wrong, Jenny. But he's totally not my problem anymore. So make sure he behaves for me. Yeah? Oh no. Don't think you're gonna throw this lug on me like that. But if that's what you want me to do, then I guess it's fine. We'll all be rooting for you, you know? Finally taking responsibility, and it's made your old grandpappy proud. I know, and I won't let any of you down. I'll do my best. With Lucario by my side, anything's possible, you know? Well, I guess it's time for us to head out, buddy. The fairy's leaving soon. And you were going to leave without saying goodbye to your old mama? I didn't raise you this way, you know? Oh, shoot. Mama, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you right away. It's okay, Miho. I know you have your reasons. And I support you no matter what you do. Remember that. Even when you're going so far away, I know that one day you'll return. I will. I will return. By the way, where's Deegan? Your brother doesn't want to see you right now, Miho. I see. Don't worry about Deegan. 
I shall speak with him later. Have a good time and do your best, Kenneth. Goodbye, Mama. Before you leave, Kenneth, I have a parting gift for you. I already loaded it on the ferry for you. I'm sure it will aid you. Thank you, Grandpa. Come, Lucario. It's time to leave. My name is Kenneth. I was born on Four Island, of the Seve Islands. I mostly just hang out with my friends Claus and Jenny all day. But besides those two, I have a mom and an older brother. I did have a father, but he passed away. My father loved to help people. He'd go out of his way to save even the smallest Pokemon. Every day, I think about how much of an impact he was on so many people's lives. I knew I wanted to be just like him ever since I was small. So, to push that forward, I do many things in my free time. I help my mom and my older brother with the chores around the island and the house. But other than that, I have absolutely no talent. Fourteen years ago, an apocalyptic disaster happened to a region far from Kanto. I was four when it happened, but even I knew the severity of that event. It was talked about for years, even today still. I wasn't there. I used to have nightmares about it. Just looking at the sheer destruction triggered something within me an uncontrollable feeling of despair and sadness. My mother used to wipe my tears and tell me that it's okay to feel sad once in a while. My older brother, Deegan, didn't feel the same way. He thought I was weak. But in those moments, I was weak. I was ashamed of my uselessness. But that changed the day I turned 18. It took more than a decade, but a support group ran by a man referred to as Mr. Blakery was constructed. Come one, and come all. The people of Avium are in need of your help. Help me build the land where all the people of Avium can live together in peace and harmony after such tragedy. His words moved and persuaded me almost instantly. It looked like they needed all the help they could get. So I... I applied. And I got accepted. That's where I'm headed now. To that far away region named... Avium. I don't know what I'll find there. But I know once I get there, I'll finally feel relief. I'll help everyone and anyone I can. That's what I was born to do. You're in city. Here I come. Hey kid, we made it to that Gear and City place. It was a rough journey, but we made it in the end, thank Arceus. Just get your stuff and hop on out of here. Thank you. Ah, didn't Grandpa say he had a parting gift for me? I should probably take a look around and find it. This has to be it, right? I mean, it has four Kenneth on it. I'm such a joker, huh, Lucario? Yeah, yeah, everyone's a critic. Wow, a Pokemon egg. You must have gotten it from the daycare. There haven't been any new trainers on the island, so... It must be a Pokemon that's native to Four Island, then. Oh well, we'll see soon enough.
Let's get out of here. So, this is Giren City. Looks so... Not finished at all. Huh? Come on, Lucario. Let's go check out what the city has. Oh, hey, Lucario. There must be another employee, right? Since we're new to the city, we should probably ask him a few things. I think that's the best course of action. Don't get shy on me now, Lucario. Um, excuse me, sir. May I ask you a question? Building you one is northwest. Huh? No, I was going to ask if the city was, um. You see, I applied for the Blakery Corps to rescue and help survivors of the tragedy 14 years ago. You what now? Jeez. Another one, huh? I'm sorry, but I don't really follow. That whole thing is just a stupid scam. Not working on saving anyone or anything. They say that. But what they really want you to do is help build this gigantic city. What? Mr. Blakely or whatever thinks this is the best way to help Avian. So in a way, they won't really lie to you. Why don't you just go to the main building, get situated, and see how things go? Is not that bad around here? Maybe you might like it. Nah. I mean, okay. Sure. Come on, Lucario. By the way, he's gonna need these. I can really have all this stuff? Don't look at me like that, kid. I'm not the generous one here. That's just a starter pack given to all the new workers here. You can't exactly break rocks or push boulders without any badges, am I right? That gold sash has you covered with all that stuff. Ah, gotcha. Thank you. Oh, and one last thing. You better be prepared to battle while walking around the city. Uh, the workers here get bored and battle each other during breaks. Keep an eye out. Okay, got it. It's been a while since we've really battled someone other than Deacon, Ricardo. I'm sure we can do it if we really try our best. Alright, so that just about covers it. So, right here is going to be our first rest center. This is going to be where we can heal up. And aside from that, there is a couple of battles right here. So this is going to be the first one. Speaking of battles, I won't be showing the small battles, of course, but I will be mentioning any level of moves that I gain, because these are pretty much the only moves that you're going to gain in this game. Level up moves or nothing. Also, this is our Lucario, what we're starting with. It has Aura Spear, Poison Jab, Detect, Quick Attack, most of the early game Pokemon are going to come with 20 IVs across the board, so that's not too bad, honestly. Anyways, after that battle, there is a worker over here that we want to talk to. I don't understand why I gotta do so much work. Why can't our Pokemon do everything? I just want to take a nap. I dropped my Union ID while doing my job, too. A real bummer. Hope you find it soon. I don't. Oh, well, okay then. So, aside from that, if we head up here, we'll have a cutscene. There you are, Jenner. What are you doing all the way over here? I'm meditating to myself because I've realized life has no meaning. Uh, I know. Reach it, brother. 
then we have all these normies walking around and building this huge city. These damn conformists. They enrage me. Yeah, well, let them enrage a fire out of you, because I need a smoke, yeah? Chastity, smoking is bad for your health. I won't allow it. Yeah, that's conformist talk. Is this place already getting to you? I'm not a conformist, I'm a realist. Why doesn't anyone understand me? Oh my god. Jinner, just look at this conformist. Oh my god. They're enraging my devil's hand. They will know my true fury. Where did you come from, Normie? Poen? What? No, I come from Kanto. I fucking knew it. But she guessed completely wrong. Anyway, we don't have time for you, Normie. We're waiting on my boyfriend Matthew to come back and confirm a gig for us. We're in a band, you see. We're gonna be super famous one day. You know, famous in a way that doesn't have us conform to society's norm and all. Hey, maybe we might remember you and give you an autograph or something. What's your name anyway? It's Kenneth. And has anyone ever told you that you're insufferable? Because to tell you the truth, I think I lost 10 years from this conversation. Damn, Normie! some mighty big talk from a redneck like you. I like, totally like you, Kendrick. We should totes hang out sometime. You know, from a distance. It's Kenneth. I think I'll pass. See you, Kenneth. So, yeah, that's Professor Jenner when he was young. Anyways, coming up over here is another battle. After all the battles I took on, I actually got Lucario to learn Power Punch, which I put in place of attack. It's something. Anyways, up here is a mansion that is only for certified workers. I'm not certified, so I guess I'm not allowed. Over here is going to be another healing station. We actually want to make our way down here, but first off we want to stop over here. There's a hidden rare candy right up here. It's going to be really useful in a bit. And we actually want to save right next to this worker. So we only have one Pokemon, and this worker right here is kind of dangerous. So I'm going to show a little bit of this battle off right here. So this worker over here has an Ekans. Ekans is kind of dangerous in the way that it has the Intimidate to drop our attack, and it also is going to use Glare. And Glare is going to paralyze us. So even though this Ekans is a two-hit KO, it's also going to go ahead and use Screech on us and lower our defense by two stages, which is scary considering this Mankey is going to come out. So what could happen here is this Mankey could have potentially used Karate Chop, and had we gotten unlucky, that could have almost to it KO'd us. Thankfully, nothing bad actually did happen though, so we'll be on our way over here, and we want to talk to this worker. Get a kid. Don't waste time and stand around. But I need to find the guy in charge of all this. I think there's been some kind of mistake. Want to talk to Mr. Blakely himself? Good luck with that kid. The only one in here and right now is his manager. If you're looking to talk to him, he went on his lunch break. He'd be around Mika's coffee or something like that. Well, alright. I guess I'll head there now. Good luck. Also, I want to mention that there is a salesperson right over here. They don't have Pokeballs, though. Gee, I wonder why. You'll also notice this worker over here using Cypher, which is kind of 
cool considering that Scythe are also used later on in Rejuvenation for the same purpose in a way. Anyways, we went ahead all the way down over here. And don't come back until you bring in actual customers. Ouch. That hurt so bad. You didn't have to push me. Oh my gosh. You didn't see that, did you? That's so embarrassing. Didn't see a thing. Hmm? I didn't see a thing. Oh, you're a gentleman. You know that? Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Rough day at work, I assume? Yeah, but don't worry. I get kicked out at least twice a day. I'm so sorry. Hey now, don't you worry about it. It brings in the money, so it's fine. My name's Tesla. What's yours? My name is Kenneth. I'm from Kanto. Oh, really? It's really far from here. I'm from here, so I'm not so interesting. But that's okay. Say, it's kind of refreshing to see a normal person around these parts. Everyone here as well, all quirky and stuff like that becomes really draining. Yeah, I've only been in the city for a little while, and I've already met some interesting characters. Oh, well, ain't that cute. They're weird, but we're all harmless. If you say so, then I guess I'll believe you. Right, well, I won't get in your way any longer. I'm sure you came here for a reason. Presumably a cup of coffee, right? Actually, I came here to meet with the manager of the construction project. here to see Keith? Well, he's your employer, and you should watch what you say around him. Anyway, I have to go, but it was nice meeting you, Kenneth. We should talk once again, once I'm off duty or something. Oh, sure. So, you want to talk to me or something? Yes, I'm here to talk about my employment. I signed up because the application said I'd rescue and aid the residents of Avium. And I want to do my best to help, but... But what? People from this region have to find somewhere to live, right? Well, with a couple of bank loans and soul stealing, they too can have a moderately sized overpriced condo. That's not what I mean. Listen, if you want to talk more, come meet me in my office. I can't talk about confidential stuff out here in the open. I'd lose my job. Lucario, why is everyone in the city insufferable? Tell me about it. At least Tesla was nice. Come on, bud. We better go talk to this asshole and see if he'll actually help. So you heard him. We are going to be making our way over to the building. This time we can actually get inside. And the receptionist will tell us that Pokemon must be within their Pokeballs while in the building. No. Sorry, Lucario. Main office here. Yeah, <sighs> Elizabeth, I told you that we can't be seen in this office after we. After you what? Yeah, <sighs> don't worry about it, kid. Now, what can Keith do for you today? I want an explanation. I thought this was supposed to be a program to help the people of Avium. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. How is building a city going to help the citizens of Avium? Well, like I said, people gotta find a new place to live after their land was destroyed, right? 
And where do you expect them to get the money to pay for these apartments? What about the people living in poverty? What happens to them? Eh, something will happen. They'll rise back. They usually do. But if you're done complaining, we need work to get done. We're not even one-third of the way done, and this place needs to be stuffed with people by next month, so... Leave. I'm not leaving. Fine. Stay there until security eventually comes to escort you out of the building. Is this a map of the region? Yes, it's exactly that. What of it? Hmm. Well, there's actually something interesting about this. There's a town east of this part of the city, yeah? It's circled. What are your plans for this area? Huh? Oh, that's the place that used to be Sheerden Village. We haven't gotten any sign of life in that area since the tragedy, so we're probably gonna clear it out. Mr. Blakery is very interested in turning it into a resort of some kind. Not sure. Let me go there and scope out the area. What? Don't make me laugh, kid. That's uncharted territory and off-limits to workers here. If it's off-limits, then I quit. Quit? Okay then, that's fine. Security! Wait, what? Security? We can talk about this, right? It was just a misunderstanding. Oh, god damn it. Hey, come on, fellas. This is just one big misunderstanding. And do you have to be so aggressive? You're hurting my arm, for Christ's sakes. Hey, let me go already. Wait, wait. And please, don't come back. I may have acted a bit rashly. I just realized I have nowhere to stay now. I don't have a job. <sighs> I really need to work on my haggling. I didn't actually want to quit my job. I gotta wonder if I would have been fired if I didn't quit. He was pretty quick to accept my resignation. Almost like he didn't mind if I did or not. Not to mention, housing is only provided to workers in the company. Yeah, I hear you, bud. I was hoping to soak this egg Grandpa gave me in warm water to help it hatch. But that's pretty much out of the question now, which is unfortunate. Damn it all. I'm not gonna give up so easily. I can't go back just yet. Even if I can't do anything to, to help out here, I'm not gonna go home just yet. We're gonna go to Sheerden Village, and we're going to help out anyone we can. Keith said there were no signs of life, but maybe that's not true. Maybe people are actually in need of my help. Somewhere out there. But first, we should probably find a place to sleep for the night, yeah? Let's get back to the small pier. Maybe one of the workers there may have a couch we can sleep on? So why not? Let's head back to the pier. What the hell do you mean we don't have a gig? Huh? Explain, Matthew. Uh-oh. Explain yourself now, Matthew. Ouch, owie. You're not supposed to hit me until after I explain. So, I gotta confess, we never had a gig here. Like ever. I just told you guys I had a gig so that you would come down here with me. The reason is not suitable. I 
death hand will destroy you, Matthew. Listen, we were all tired of living with our lame parents, right? Well, this was a free way to move out and get free housing. It was the perfect deal. Don't be a conformist, Matthew. Nothing's ever free. There's a catch to all this, I'm sure. Out with it. Tell us. So in exchange for our free housing and trip away from our parents, we gotta help build this city. Matthew, say it ain't so. Say it isn't so. My death hand. I cannot control. Wait, guys, this is a... Yikes. That guy's gonna feel that for a few days. Maybe I shouldn't go that way for a while. Wait, the guy who was blocking the way isn't there anymore. Isn't that place supposed to be some luxurious mansion? There's gotta be a bed or something in there, right? Lucario, let's go take a look. So, we will take a look in a second. But we're actually going to head down here anyways. Turns out they're not going to stop us. So, instead of heading down there, we're first off going to head over here and talk to this worker over here. Welcome. Are you perhaps here to sign up for a field? Field? That's correct. Each employee who enters a field gets a free Pokemon to help aid their task. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm... Excuse me one moment. Did you hear that, Lucario? A free Pokemon! I mean, I'm still an employee to this guy, right? So that means I can get a free Pokemon out of this deal, right? Are you looking at me like that? Come on, it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure they have plenty of Pokemon in reserve. Ignore me then. I'm gonna get myself a free Pokemon. Yeah, I'll take one of each, please. Come on, slow down there, kid. You're only eligible to apply for one field. Okay, well, where are the fields then? Before I go into detail, I'll need to see your union ID. Never mind. Hey, don't laugh at me! That was a very unfortunate situation. I won't be able to get another Pokemon unless I get a worker's ID. And since I'm no longer an employee, Keith won't give me one. Maybe we can get our hands on one another way, though. <laughs> Let's take a look around and see what we can find. So. We're going to go ahead and head on over here. You remember that worker we talked to? Well, let's talk to him again. Excuse me, sir, but can I talk to you for a second? Huh? What do you want from me? I'm trying to drink my problems away. Can't you see that? Relax. I was just going to ask about your union ID. What? My union ID? I lost my idea a long time ago. You lost it? Yeah, I lost it. I don't really care that I did anyway. Um, if I find your union ID, I have it. Fine, sure, whatever. I sure as hell don't want it. Sweet. Do you remember where you lost it? It's near a small stream of water. I think just north of here. That's the last place I saw it anyway. Great, thanks. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to come up over here, and like you said, buy the small stream of water on this little patch of flower. Huh? What's this? It's that worker's union ID this to obtain a free Pokemon. But with 
with that worker's ID, we can now head all the way back to the other worker. We're going to grab... Although, I recommend actually saving before you talk to him, unfortunately. I'm not like what I just did here. Still gonna need that union ID. Got your ID right here. Hmm. Yes, yes. This is an ID, alright. Aren't you going to actually look at it? Kid, I don't get paid enough to be completely observant all this time. I see an ID, and that's all I need to see. Well, alright then. No complaints from me. Now to explain the three fields. There are three fields you may enter. One is the structure field, which is paving roads. There's a deforestation field. You need to chop down trees for expansion. And finally, we have a waste management. I think that one is self-explanatory. Pokemon do you get for which? For deforestation, we supply Scyther. For waste management, we supply Muck. Finally, for infrastructure, we supply Dante. Please make a decision. So this decision doesn't really matter. Either one of these count, and you cannot get the others. My personal recommendation here is going to be Scyther. Although Muck isn't terrible either. Dawnfan is also pretty cool, but you get ground types later. You get a lot of ground types later, so that's why I don't really recommend them up. But Sy Scyther is an absolute early game beast. So we're gonna grab the Scyther. Okay, here you go. One Scyther coming up. Awesome. This guy will do wonders on my team. Not to explain your role. Nah, it's fine. I got it. Alright, Lucario, let's give our new team member a spin. <sighs> so, we're gonna check out the Scyther right here. Technician, which is the ability that I actually want, you could get Technician or Swarm, so that's why I recommend saving. And again, like most Pokemon that we're going to get in the early game, it's going to have 20 IVs across the board. It's also going to have Agility, Steel Wing, Bug Bite, and Cut. These two moves right here are actually boosted by Technician. So Cut has 75 base power and Bug Bite has 90 base power, which is amazing. Steel Wing is unfortunately a little bit too strong. But this Scyther is going to put in so much work. So I'm going to go over here and heal up and we're going to go visit that mansion now. Okay, check this place out. Pretty opulent place, but there's also something kind of, I don't know, ominous? Maybe it's haunted or something. What? What is this place? It's so depressing. Is that dried blood? Lucario. I don't think this is a very happy place. I get the feeling something really terrible happened here. Whether that had been recently or a long time ago, that bad feeling feels real present. Let's look around a bit more. So if we come all the way up here, we'll actually see the portrait. This painting. This is a family portrait, right? so happy. But photographs and paintings only ever capture a moment. <laughs> oh, this room is amazing. Somehow, this place feels worse than upstairs. We 
you really want to stay down here for the night? It's like a place you get your soul sacrificed or something. I'm just joking. That doesn't happen. So anyways, we are going to make our way all the way up over here. Obviously, it has a little bit of a save machine, right? Or a healing machine. Good star. I'm going to put Scyther right over here in the first slot of my party. And we're going to go in. This room is pretty quaint. A little cold, but we can deal for at least one night, right? Whoa. This pit goes a long way down, Lucario. Let's find a place to sleep that's not at all close to the railing. But what do you think this place was used for, huh? Like, really? What's a twisted place like this doing underneath a mansion? I guess it doesn't really matter. It's a story that will never be told. I just can't shake the feeling that I shouldn't be here. I know I've already said that plenty of times before, but it's true. Maybe we should just go. Yeah, Lucario? Maybe. Huh? Lucario, did you just... Lucario? Where'd you go, buddy? This isn't the time to pull any pranks. This place is too freaky. Please help me. Who are you? Please help me. Hold on. I'll try and get you down from there. Don't help me. I'll, I'll be lost. No! <sighs> Am I dreaming? All oh, this can't be real. be lost without you. You'll be lost without me? What does that even mean? Please. I'll help you. Just tell me how. How can I help you? Pokemon? Are you causing all this? If so, I'll have to deal with you myself. So I guess we can count this as a mini boss battle. The BGM will have a C that's going to boost its special attack. If you pick Scyther like me and you have Technician though, Bug Bite will absolutely destroy this thing and one shot it. trapped in that crystal. At least, I think. Hello? Oh, Kenneth. You already know my name? Have we met somewhere before? Perhaps in another life. Another time. What are we both doing here? I need to talk to you, Kenneth. But I couldn't find a way. At least, 
Not until now. I need you to help me. To help us. You keep asking for my help, but not replying how. I want to help you. This was the entire re reason I came to this region. So please, please tell me how I can. I want you to find me. And when you do, I want you to give me this. down to me by a relative. It's very important to me, and only you can give this to me. So please can find me. Because if you don't, I will last. My life is in your hands. Don't worry, I'll find you. I'll find you and I'll save you. It's a promise from me to you. I promise. means. Lucario, how long have I been out? Oh wait, that's right. I can't understand what you're saying. I'm only teasing you, Lucario. You don't have to give me those deadly eyes of yours. Really though, we should leave and also never come back. Because this place has probably emotionally scarred me for the rest of my life. How about you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Your aura is horribly tainted. Let's get out of here, buddy. Oh no, it's already nighttime? That means all the workers by the pier have already gone home. <sighs> Another day bites the dust. To a better day tomorrow. Kenneth? What are you doing out here so late? Oh, hey Tesla. How's it going? Mind if I sit with you? Sure, take a seat. Awesome! So, what are you doing out here by yourself at this time of day? Oh, you know, just hanging around, I guess. Really? I thought you would have been really tired from all that physical labor. Some of the people that walk into the shop at the end of the day can barely walk. I'm sorry, was that a bit presumptuous and rude of me? No, you're fine. That's not it. Actually, it ties into me being out here at night. Oh, well, it's complicated, but... You see, the thing is... I kind of... accidentally quit my job? You what? You quit? I didn't mean to. I was just trying to haggle my boss. I came to this region to help people. Build a city. I was trying to get him to send me somewhere else, but he didn't want to budge. So I threatened to quit, and he kind of rolled over me with it and kicked me out. Keith did that? I'm so sorry. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to leave this place and head for Sheerden Village. I will help as many people as I possibly can. 
no matter what. I'm sorry if this is wrong, but is it your dream? Is what my dream? You know, helping people out who really need it. Oh, I guess it is. I think I got it from my dad. He was always eager to help people out. Unfortunately, he died during one of his jobs. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. He died doing what he loved. It's a little funny though. My mama always said I was born with an unnatural amount of empathy. But sometimes, I feel like the average person isn't born with enough. I second that. So what's your dream? My dream? Well, I guess it's not really a dream, but one day I want to own an orphanage. Wait, seriously? Yeah, you see, I'm actually an orphan myself, so... Really? Yeah, my parents died in an accident a long time ago. I never really knew them, so I don't really know how to feel about them. But owning an orphanage takes a lot of time and money. That's why I'm here, you know? Nika's Cafe must pay really well if you're working there to build an orphanage. Very funny, Kenneth. I'm only working here part-time. I'm trying to become a model. I hear they make big bucks. A model, you say? Yep. I applied in everything. I just gotta wait on a reply. If I'm honest, I'm scared to death. If this doesn't work out, then... I think you'd be a really good model. I think you're really pretty. What? Don't say such a silly thing. I'm sorry, was that weird to say? What was that? That would be my stomach. I haven't eaten since, well, yesterday. You haven't eaten since yesterday? Today's practically over. Um, yeah, I guess it is. I'm sorry, but this just won't do. Come with me right now. Sit. Um, is it okay for me to be in Mika's Cafe's break room? Absolutely not. But no one's here at the moment, so who cares? Now sit. Okay. Now you wait right here. I'll be back. Tesla, what is all this? It's dinner. Isn't that obvious? Now eat up. Thank you so much. I made it with love, so be sure you enjoy it. It's absolutely delicious. Are you sure this is alright? Just eat up, okay? I don't want to hear any more talking. I didn't even know Mika's Cafe served coffee, served food like this. Huh? We don't serve food. Then where'd this plate come from? Oh, that? Don't worry, that's just my lunch for tomorrow. What? But if I eat this now, you won't have any lunch for tomorrow. It's fine. Besides, you said you were leaving tomorrow, right? Just take it as a farewell gift, okay? Don't ask any more questions. Okay, gotcha.
Listen, Tesla. Thank you so much for the meal. It was delicious. Oh, hey, don't worry about it. It was the least I could do. And look, I bet you're real tired of seeing me, but you probably don't have a place to stay tonight, yeah? Huh? How'd you know that? Well, the housing here is only for people working to rebuild the city. And seeing as you no longer have a job here, I'm guessing you never got your apartment key. You're too smart for me, Tesla. Why don't you stay over at my place for the night? If you'd have me, I'd be really grateful. Of course! My apartment is just west of the main building. You can't miss it. Oh, and my apartment is 7B. Don't forget. 7B. Got it. See you soon. Lucario? I don't think I've met anyone as nice as Tesla before in my life. This is gonna be our only night in Gearn City, so let's finish up anything we haven't. He's absolutely right about that. So, right here, I'm going to be heading back into the mansion. And we want to make our way all the way to the basement floor down here. Back in the room where we had the cutscene earlier, we want to make our way over to this rock and we want to find this time capsule. It's hidden. Huh? This thing has no way to open it. It's a time capsule, so maybe it won't open for a while. Better not think about it right now. We will be collecting keys throughout the game to open that time capsule and get the reward that's inside of it. But that's all we actually have to do here at the mansion. So instead, let's make one last shopping trip because now is the time to make that shopping trip if you're going to make it. So over here is where we can buy our items. And I'm actually going to be selling probably half my lemonades. So that's not much. And I'll be selling the rare candy as well. We will be getting plenty of rare candies later on. So selling one just so that I can buy a few more repels is worth it to me. Again, you don't have to do this, but for me, this is going to make the game a little bit more playable, or rather, I should probably say a little bit more recordable. So with all that done and taken care of, let's go find Tesla's apartment. Although I say find, however, we actually ran away from them. It's actually super easy to miss, even though it is one of the few buildings that we can actually enter inside. So inside here, we'll have no other choice but to go to the seventh floor. And we can examine each and every door just to hear Kenna say, nope, that's not it. Apartment 7B? I think this was it. Yeah, 7B was definitely Tesla's apartment. Am I really brave enough to stay at Tesla's house for one whole night? Tesla said it was her apartment, right? And she said she was an orphan, so she's probably not here with any adults. So... Did she invite me here so that we could... What am I thinking? I need to get my mind out of the gutter. Tesla invited me out out of the kindness of her heart. But I shouldn't keep her waiting, right? I'll go in there and show Tesla how grateful I am. I mean, it's what a man would do, right? The right thing? Yes, let's do it. Tesla, your man is here to... Oh my god! Who invited the normie? What? Kenneth, you made it! I figured since I invited you over, I'd invite some of my friends too. I hope that isn't a problem. No, not at all. 
You came at the right time, Normie. We we're just about to start another game of Ekans and Ladders. So sit down and grab a player. Ekans and Ladders? Yeah, we're playing board games. You'll play, won't you? Yeah, dude, play with us. Play with us, or I don't think I can guarantee you safety from my death hand. I guess I don't really have much of a choice then, do I? Although, it wasn't the night I expected. It was definitely a night to remember. Playing board games all night with Tesla, Jenner, Matthew, and even Chastity. It was the best thing that's happened to me in quite a while. It feels nice to know that people care about you. I almost wish this never ended. But all good things must come to an end. So, you're really leaving in the morning then? Yep, first thing too. It's a shame. You've only really been here for a day. I was looking forward to becoming friends with you. But we are friends, aren't we? Yeah, I guess, but... Are you sure you want to leave so soon? Maybe you could try and get your job back or something? I don't mind if you stay here until that happens. That's very kind, but there's something I need to take care of. That's right. I have something I have to do. Something I have to do no matter what. I want you to find me, and when you do, I want you to give me this. What is this? An amulet? It was handed down to me by a relative. It's very important to me, and only you can give this to me. As much as I want to stay here, I can't. I made a promise to her, to that girl. No matter what, I'll find her, and I'll save her from whatever it is that ails her. Well, alright, but if you ever want to come back, I have a couch waiting for you. By the way, where do you intend to go? There's nothing but forest to the west of here. Too dense for anyone to get through. And there's a vast ocean to the east. Do you have a boat of some kind? No idea. I was thinking of hitching a ride with one of the sailors down by the pier. That's a good idea. I'm sure they'll... So, I guess this is goodbye then. Unfortunately, for now, yeah. Although, I've only known you all for a day. It's been real fun. Yes, it's been real fun. I gotta say, you're really entertaining. For a conformist, that is. Yeah, like you said, we've only known each other for a day. I know we'll be life friends. Oh my gosh, Jenner! Don't you cry on me now? Only normies cry. I'm not crying. That was my death eye. I can't control it. 
Yeah, that's going to be my excuse later on in this playthrough. Sure, hun. Never change, guys. Except maybe you, Chester. Huh? Before you go, I want to give you a small parting gift. But, Tesla, I can't accept this. You've already given me so much. I'm fine with that. This is just something to remember me by when you're off saving the citizens of Avium, okay? Born a few hours ago. I know you'll be great. Come on out, Tessie. I told you Tessie was a, had a good ring to it. Yeah, you know best, Tesla. Kenneth, I know we only just became friends, but it feels like we've been friends for a very long time. So. Don't you dare never come back, okay? We'll all be waiting for you to return. This isn't over, Kenneth. Don't you forget about us. And that's how I set out on my real journey. Can you believe what I've gotten myself into? Because I can't. If Mama were here right now, she'd say that this was destiny. My brother Deacon would have called me an idiot. Maybe both are true. I don't really reject either claim. All I know is that I have to find this girl. I have to make things right. I will make things right. journey took forever. I didn't think we'd make it. Yeah, you were amazing, Tessie. You were only just born, but surfing all that way has made you incredibly strong already. It's a shame. I'm going to have to abandon you here. It's just a prank. I'd never leave you like that. Alright, alright, I admit it. It was a cruel joke. But we still got plenty of daylight to burn, so let's get a move on it, okay? And we also achieved the Tesla badge. There are sort of badges here. If we check our trainer card right here, we will obtain various badges that will allow us to level up our Pokemon and still have command over them. What I mean by that is, while naturally battling the random trainers that you encounter, you should probably never reach the level cap and go over it, but if you wanted to say user of candies, you could potentially do that, but they won't obey you just like in regular rejuvenation. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this part. We got a large chunk of story done. And this is just the beginning. There's a lot of good vibes up ahead, and there's a lot of really sad ones too. Thank you all for watching. I hope it helped. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.